Welcome back to the Brick Brethren. We got a full box of the Lego D&D &D minifigs. It's a little warped, but we're gonna open all of them to see uh, which ones we got. Let's get to it. So many minifigs. My brain can't handle this. <laughs> My brain can't handle this. <laughs> All right, so this box was super warped, so there's gonna be some really weird boxes here. Hopefully they're not damaged. I mean, they're Legos, so. Didn't these come from Ireland? Yeah. I mean, it is a wet place. So. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so let's, let's open them up. Okay, first off, I got, let's see, what's the witch called? Um, that is Tasha the Witch Queen. Okay, cool. I got Tasha the Witch Queen. And it looks like I got the, what's it? Strahd Von Zarvich. <laughs> He's like some vampire knight looking dude. Forgive us if we don't know these names. We're not super big into D&D. We both played before, but we don't know too much about it or the lore behind some of these characters. There we go. And we'll do an overview of each of the minifigs at the end. And they do come off with a checkoff list that shows which minifigures you have and which ones you need to collect still. As well as instructions on the back if you don't know how to build something. This is the Vampire King. Uh, that's what I'm gonna call him because his name's a little too crazy for me, <laughs> but he looks pretty cool. I like the rat. Custom brick brethren. All right, next one. Okay, let's do it. I don't know about you, I just love warp packages. <laughs> they look so They're so, so nice. cool. Okay, I got another vampire king here. Figure. So it looks like I just got the Lady of Pain. So that's what the Lady of Pain looks like. Okay, oh, cool. Oh, that's one of my favorites. I got the, uh, the eagle guy. And I got the Mind Flare. Here's the um, eagle guy with the little wolf pup and a new bow mold, which is cool. And then here's the Mind Flare. He's pretty cool. I, I think he is pretty, pretty generic, but looks pretty cool. Ooh. Okay, so I got the Tiefling Sorcerer. That's the Dragonborn Paladin. He's cool. Okay, cool. This one comes with two different faces, which is really cool. Okay, there's the tiefling there. Tiefling sorcerer. Yeah, this guy's sick. Like, probably one of my favorites. So I got the mind flayer again. And I got the halfling bard. There's the elf bard. Mm -hmm. Four more. I got the Lady of Pain again. Okay. And I got another Tiefling. Oh, oh sweet. I think oh, we both, we both got the got same him. one. So there he is. Pretty cool. Please be something new. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got Sasha the Witch. So there he is. Looks like the elf. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the elf bard. Okay, and I got the same one as last time. The guy who plays the guitar and the guy who has an eyeball <laughs> <Yeah>. staff. <laughs> okay, I got the woman of pain again. And I got another tiefling. Uh, I got that like dragon guy. Skeleton dude. Oh, cool. Okay, this is the the halfling druid. There we go. Oh, I think I got the dwarf. Oh, yeah, sweet. Cool. Okay, we both we got, got new the, guys. Got the two last ones here. Very, very cool. Here is the halfling druid. <laughs> if you guys have anything to like, look back at our video and question any of our name calling or our um, building styles, it's D&D, so we can do whatever we want, bro. Yeah, I think he looks really cool. I also just like the, the overall, like, things they add, different molds. Yeah, I think that's all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, so okay. we can uh, keep open the rest here. 
Yeah. I got this is the tiefling. <laughs> That's the druid, the halfling druid. Huh? <laughs> All right, I'm and getting a little confused here. There's the the guy with the loop. The, I think it's a bard. The, yeah. Another eagle dude. Sasha the witch. <laughs> <laughs> another eagle dude. I think this might be okay. I got that dragon looking dude with the armor. Cool. Um, the um, dwarf barbarian. Mind flare. <laughs> and last two. Make it make it count, man. Make it count. Sheesh. That's right. And another druid. Dwarf guy or dwarf woman. So we're going to do a little bit of a detail on each like minifigure. So this is like the skeleton king or queen you want to call. Um, I think he looks really cool, but honestly like there's a couple things about him he doesn't have any like printing on the arms which isn't a huge deal he does have like some printing on the bottom of course but um his little accessories that he came with was just like this little flame and then also this little skeleton head which i think is like some sorcerer power thing he does but i do really love the cape though i think it's cool that they included like this back like cape but also like the cape that goes above the head just makes him look more like a sorcerer, but overall pretty good minifigure. And then the base plates also do all have the same um, rock print on them. And then I got the um, Dragonborn Paladin, I think his name was. There's the shield with that cool printing on there. And then this cool staff with like a tassel at the bottom. I'm going to take them off so you can see the whole thing here. And I'll take off the armor as well. This armor piece is new as well, which is super sweet. But the printing beneath is way cool as well. Mm -hmm. And it's all around, it's on the arms, it's on the sides of the legs too. So yeah, very cool uh, minifig there. Um, the next one we'll go over is this witch. We're calling her Sasha the witch. <laughs> um, she's honestly not bad uh, when it comes to like her details she does have some printing on her arms which is cool um she also was included with a book with like some type of like sorcerer like i think it's like a laughing thing. spell or yeah. something like that and then it also does come with like a little pot with her like little flame purple flame so nothing too crazy about her like the mold's cool i think that's a new like mold yeah i think for, it's a new mold yeah like her hair is kind of swishing in the air and um, she does also come with a second face as I lose that, but um, the other face is more of like a serious and then you have the laughing spell, which like Ian said, she's probably laughing her guts out because <laughs> she loves to laugh. So that's Sasha for you. And then we got the um, tiefling uh, sorcerer. And this one comes with two different heads. So let me grab the, so this is the, the female head. And then this is the male head that's on there. And so yeah, it has this uh, cool new, I think this is new, I, I haven't seen I've it before seen either. That, yeah. That's that's really cool. And then the tiny little dragon, which I don't know if it, that's new as well or if it's in Harry Potter sets or something. But yeah, this one's really cool. It has some really cool printing. The, the purple and orange colors are really fun. Um, I think the only thing that I noticed is with this tail, it just shows on the front there, which is all right. It's not the worst. It's a thin line, but it almost looks like it, like it's showing his belly or something. Yeah. But really cool minifigure overall. He might like crop tops. We never know. <laughs> <laughs> Here is this little elf like bard right i, think, it was like I think that's the elf bard yeah yeah i actually really like this one so this one does come with two different faces so it also comes with like the boy and the girl face right now we have the girl face on and you'll see the two different faces are like they're all like the same like expressions for yeah. boy and girl but one thing i really love about this one is the guitar print i think that's sick and then i also just love the overall colors there's no arm printing, which I think is fine. Like, she, it looks like she's wearing a white shirt under mm -hmm. her vest, which most white shirts don't have printing. So 
I also do love the scarf and the ears part of like her hair mold. So, and overall, I think if you're really interested in like great coloring, this is a great one. Yeah, fun. And then I can't remember the name of this one at all, it's but Wizard Elf. Yeah, something like that. This one also has the um, two heads here. There's the back of that one, and the back of that one. Um, really cool printing overall. The dark blue and brown look great together. Um, I think this is also a new hair piece as well. And then it has um, this little shoulder pad piece, as well as this eyeball staff, which is pretty fun. And then this new dagger piece, which is really cool as well. And it comes with an extra one in each um, little box. Yeah, so the next one, is this? Uh, the, the Halfling Druid. Yeah. This one's really cool. So it also does come with a boy and a girl head. Um, both same expressions on both sides. Um, I really do love this though, because the mold for the hood is like completely new. I think that's like the antlers of him coming out. And uh, this also does come with like a bird. I'm pretty sure in D&D, &D, these guys are like really nature based. Like, yeah, people. usually druids can turn into animals. Animals, yeah. And so I also love this staff. I've never seen like, a, like this isn't hard to make. You could probably do it out on your own with your own pieces, but I've never seen a staff like like this ever before. Yeah, it's fun. I love the coloring on it too, but um, overall the printing's great. And I was talking to Ian, so the, the cape is green and on the inside it's brown. If you really wanted to, you could customize it to being a brown yeah, cape. Flip yeah. it. And it's it's actually like a lot thicker than yeah. um, some other capes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great minifigure. And then we got the um, uh, Dwarf Barbarian, I think. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this one has the two different heads as well. So there's the front ones and there's the back ones. You can see that back printing with the little horn um like call yeah yeah horn horn <laughs> yeah <laughs> trumpet horn i guess um and it comes up comes with this uh tied back hair piece which is kind of fun works for either one mm -hmm. and then this shoulder um fur piece uh torch and this new axe mold which is really cool that just sits on top of this um staff piece so because we haven't seen, <laughs> I can't to get it off, uh, a piece like this before that slips right on there rather than the other axe molds that clip on mm -hmm. to make the axe. So really cool right there. I love that like piece on the shoulders for, mm -hmm. for him or her. Um, this one is the Lady of Pain, right? I think so. Or Woman of Pain. <laughs> I don't know. Um, honestly, it's pretty cool. Like, if you look at the backside, I've never seen a cape like this before. So maybe they've done it in the past, but I've never purchased a set where I've had that. Um, this set or this minifigure is just like a, like a mold, like a rubbery mold for the head. And it's just a blank face under, which honestly not my favorite just because i feel like it, with the black they should have done like it more of a green head instead which would have blended in more with with the head because you can kind of see like the black head under mm -hmm. um accessory wise she comes with like these little tiles i don't know what those are for but kind of cool and then it also has a transparent piece of her like floating so kind of like some wizard warlock lady so I thought uh, it was overall great, but nothing too special about this minifigure except for this new mold. And then we got the... Um, Chima. The, yeah, Lego Chima uh, eagle here. Um, yeah, this I think is a ranger eagle guy. I don't know the race, uh, the official race name in d, d Comes with this new little wolf pup. I, it might be new. There might be some already, but it's and cute. then um, this cool new bow mold, which is really sweet, mm -hmm. and new mold for the wings. Yeah. So super cool. I'll take it off so you can see the back printing as well. And really it's great. just pretty standard, but it's it's nice to have. And yeah, so pretty sometimes cool. with like those molds, it like kind of prevents you from seeing a cool print on the back. 
Yeah. Kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's like that's a great mold. Right. That's cool. They added anyways. Do you know? Honestly, kind of off track. That would be a great mold to use for the X Men character with like oh, the wings. Yeah, Archangel. Yeah, I think Archangel sick, and like they could do that with a future X Men series. Mm -hmm. Um. Now I have the Mind Flayer, right? I think so. Um. Nothing really crazy about him. If you look a little bit closer, he does have some arm printing. Um, I love that they at least did the printing on the back. I've had sets where they had this type of like legs and they printed on the front, but then they left the, the black, the back blank. And it's just like, yeah, a little plain. Yeah. But honestly, I could care less about this guy. I think he's cool. <laughs> like the mold's awesome, but what makes him great is his little brain pet. Like he's got four little legs. Like Halloween's coming up guys. This, this is a cute little guy to use for your decorations. So. Other than that, I think uh, this is probably like an okay minifigure. Like the molds are great and me and Ian were talking about it. It's like, all of these are great minifigures. Like you can't go wrong with any of them, but this one's just not really like too over the top compared to others. Mm -hmm. And lastly, we have, uh, I, he, I think he has an official name, but we're calling him the Vampire King. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he has this dark blue cape here and a different face on the back, just kind of a little smirk and then really angry face there. And I'll lift up the cape so you can see the back printing. You can and, do him like falling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's kind of cool, this fur kind of wraps around onto his arm mm -hmm. and onto the front of his, jeez, I can't get a good angle. And onto the front of his torso there too. Mm -hmm. And then it comes with a really cool sword piece, which I'm pretty sure we've seen before. I don't think it's new. And then a cup and this black rat with red eyes, which is pretty fun. But the printing on here is really nice and a really cool minifig overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's all of um, the minifigs in detail. We'll do a overview of all of them. All right, so now we just want to talk about our favorites and our least favorites of this of this series, and we'll have Ian start off with what which one do you prefer to have out of all these ones? Like my favorite? Yeah. I think my favorite, well, it's kind of hard to choose. I'm gonna go with the uh, Vampire King. He's really fun. Uh, I don't think he's like, like he doesn't really come with anything uh, exclusive, mm -hmm. I guess. But I think he's really fun. I just, I don't know why I like him that much, but I, I'm going to say he's my favorite. I like that. <laughs> and I guess we'll also, I'll have to ask you, if you had a, a close call to your favorite, which one would you Oh, sure. Be? Um, I I want to give an honorable mention yeah. first. Yeah. I, I do like this skeleton guy a lot. He's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, I think his um, red skull is really cool as well. I think he was probably my favorite from looking at the images, although I don't think he is overall. And I'm gonna have to go with the um, the druid. Yeah, I think he's really fun. He's way sick. So, what about you? What um, do you honestly, say your favorite is? It's tough because I I love all of them, but I'd have to say, man, I love this like dragonborn mm -hmm. like knight. Is that what it is? Paladin. I think. Yeah. I just think his armor's so sick, and I just love the mold of his head too. Like, so cool. And overall, just it's like I've never really seen a minifigure like this. Like they've done stuff similar, but like I just love the armor. The armor is what really makes him set apart from all the other ones, in my opinion. Yeah, you can use that armor for other things. Yeah, because it's not like specific to him, Dragonborn. Yeah. So I think that's really cool. If I had a close second, it would have to probably be, hmm, I would have to say the Vampire King, of course, like Ian already talked about him. The Black Rat is just top notch. That's the goat. <laughs> um, but if I had to also have a, like an honorary mention, mm -hmm. um, it would probably be, man, I really do like the dwarf, honestly. I just think, overall like his face is cool i love the printing on the arms it just like i don't know everything they did with this guy looked really cool and usually when i get like a dwarf or like a smaller guy in a set i'm like eh, 
it's like okay, yeah. you know? Yeah. Not like in a, in a bad way, but it's just like, I like just the way they did everything with him and even his weapon. Yeah, I think, I think he's really cool too. From seeing him in person, I think he's a lot cooler than from just seeing the pictures. Well. Yeah, I just think with like dwarves in the past and stuff, they just kind of can make them plain. Kind of, right. cause I did, uh, I did recently build the Rivendell set and they have one of the dwarves in there that is just like completely like plain. And I'm like, it could have been cooler if he had like some type of armor. And I really love that shoulder piece. I think yeah. Korg has that in, oh, yeah. the, in that so. boat, the goat boat. Yeah, it's, it's used uh, for like nests mm -hmm. as well. For I birds, love it. Which is kind of fun. Yeah, so. If you had a like name your least favorite in here, which one would it be? Um, I I guess I'll go with. Um, I think we kind of agree with this one, but we're going with Sasha. Yeah, <laughs> she's fun, and you know it has a really cool new um, hat hair combo mm -hmm. piece. And yeah, overall, it's not a bad minifig. It's just I don't know, we don't yeah. we don't love it too much. No. And then I'd say um, since we kind of agree on that one. This one, I, I can't remember the name of it, but I think it's cool. It's a great minifig, cool new dagger piece and everything, but overall kind of plain in, mm -hmm. in my eyes. Yeah, going off of those, I, I completely agree with those ones. And if I had a, like another, like there's two other ones that I think are okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll say one. I think it's mainly him. I just, I don't love him. Like he's cool, <laughs> but like, there's just nothing that really like makes me feel like he's, like the best in here or like yeah i i like him i think it would be cool if he had like a little like one a extra weapon. piece yeah, yeah i agree i i'm sure you know well i mean it's a mind player i'm sure he uses his mind to do whatever yeah but also i feel like it'd be cool if he just had you know some sort of relic piece like the the um lady of pain has yeah i um, agree or something i don't know just kind of a another piece although the brain guy is really cool yeah and the, the brain and the mold is. of the head is sweet it's great it just kind of it's like we did the space series a little bit ago and mm -hmm. like that would have worked for the space series like, yeah and like true. i get it it's like that like D and D's all types of different characters and stuff but i just like the more medieval style yeah. looking people and he just looks like he came from the space collection <laughs> yeah but that's how D, &D works so yeah other than that if if you had to rate this like from a one to ten, what would you say this the series is? Honestly, I I love Welcome this series. Welcome back to the Brick Brethren. We got a full a box ten. of the yeah. Lego oh, yeah. I think I agree. It's a little yeah, rough, I but we're gonna open um, all of them. To just see a uh, lot of know, cool new pieces, yeah. which Let's makes it, it really fun. And then I think right. just the variety okay. of mini films that we got is also really cool. I mean, sure they could have you know, done a couple of the same thing, mm -hmm. but they decided to do totally different characters and some are normal, like, you know, like players that you can be oh, in the yeah. game. And then some are like, you know, villains and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you can like make your own uh, story with them. Yeah, which, which is, cool. is great. I, uh, kind of going off of this question, I think um, we've had three minifig series so far this year. If you, I know it's hard to rank them because mm -hmm. they're both completely different themes, but if you had to rank this in the recent three, what would you say? Uh, I, I'd say I like this one the best Me right too. now. I, I think it's super cool. Yeah. Um, very creative and it's fun to see D&D &D in Lego. Mm -hmm. Yeah, overall I think this was great and I would love um, Lego to just come out with more themes like this for their minifig series, maybe focus on some different themes that they've never touched on or even focus on some themes that they've just never even done a minifig series. Like yeah. I'd love, like we were talking about it, I think a Lord of the Rings one would be cool or Star Wars. It's just like, I think it's fun when we get different, different stuff, yeah. not stuff we've seen in the past. And usually they do like to switch things up. Right, but... yeah, with like, um, they did a DC one yeah. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's fun. Although, like I was saying too earlier, I, I really like just the normal minifig series mm -hmm. with like what they started with. Yeah. Um, but I think it's fun if, you know, they do three each year mm -hmm. to do, I don't know, one of each Definitely. and a different thing. Yeah, so. I agree. Sweet. Well, thank you guys for watching this video and the review. And definitely don't forget to like and subscribe and follow your favorite channel, The Brick Brethren. Thanks, guys.